we're going to look at the new online and photo creator it's really simple to use and uh, there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of uh, as you're using it so for example uh, it uses flash so it's best if you're using an Apple Mac to use either Google Chrome or Firefox you'll find that Safari needs its own built-in flash player and you'll find it'll be difficult to work on the system so it's best to use something like Chrome or Firefox once you're in the end shop you just select your product that you want to make so we're going to look at a photo book and we're going to go for the photo book basic just for this application so you just go through the ordering process so you choose whether it's a square one or you use a horizontal or vertical we'll just stick with the vertical there and we'll just stick to the 28 pages and then you can choose whether you go for a glossy or a matte finish and the matte I find is a really really great finish and it just adds that little bit extra quality to the product and then you can choose to stay for the standard cover or the padded cover and you can just toggle between them you know you're on the right item when it is highlighted in blue so for this instance we're going for a matte laminate and it is going to be a standard cover select next and you can choose whether you're going to go for the color correction you'll notice as we hover over the eye it just lets you know a little bit about the color correction once you've done that, you just click on Add to Basket. So you can see there you get an overview summary for the order and you can choose the size. You've selected that. You've chose the add-on uh, matte cover finish and then you can add any notes that you want. This is useful if you have to inform the team on anything that you would like to let them know in relation to the order you click accept change and then it takes you through to your card number remember you do need to be logged in to get to this section now the great thing now as well as having the end photo creator on your PC you can actually use their online design feature as well this is new to the website so you just click on design online and you can choose different themes so as you can see there's lots of different themes to choose from uh, you've got different wedding features you've got lots of different templates that you can choose or alternatively you can create your own so we're just going to create a a blank theme so you click on design online and then you select where you want the pictures to come from so we're going to take them from the computer and we're going to upload some photographs so I've got some photographs here that we're going to upload and there are 28 photographs in total if you want to remove photographs you can just select the remove all and it removes the pictures from there okay once the photographs are then loaded into your what I would call a timeline bar at the bottom if you hover over each one you'll see that it highlights more in a pink and you have the basket so if you don't want to remove all the photographs you can just select the photograph and just click on it and it removes it there you just add the photos and go to the editor and you'll notice that these photographs are shown in the cloud and they're currently uploading as we speak the first page that you'll see 
is the cover page. So on the left, it's showing back of the cover and on the right, it's showing the front of the cover. So we're just gonna place this photograph here onto that front cover and we're gonna flip that so you can rotate right, left, or you can flip the image. So we've now flipped the image and we're just gonna take it straight over to there. And we're just gonna process that through. We can also just bring that in a little just to make it a bit more contemporary and you can see that that has gone straight over and uh, but the most important bit is the face feature that's there we can also add text to that page so we're now just going to add some text and we'll call that model shoot and then we'll highlight it and we'll change the color and we'll change the font you can see that there's so many different fonts to choose from and we're going to go for that one there and we're going to increase the size of the font as well so we've made that bold and we've now got the word model shoot we can now just move that to where you want and we're just going to stick that there we're going to add some additional text and we're just going to put by and then add my name David Miller photography training online and now we'll just highlight that and we will change that font I will stick to Arial in this case and we'll then go white and we'll just change the font size and then we'll just move that just take it over that side there and then just move it to here and that looks great we'll just leave it as it is now you'll see on here we have a number one with a tick and that shows that the image has been used once and the tick indicates that it's been used in this creation we can now go to the next page and you'll notice in this particular amber album we aren't able to add a photograph or anything onto this uh, back of the hard cover we can now just drag and drop images and you can just move them to where you want just like that if you don't want to use the picture you can just click on delete and it will take it back now one of the great features in this is you have layouts and you can choose different layouts within there and we'll just add this in here and we'll just double click on that and it shows drag photo here we'll go back to the photographs and we'll just drag the photo and it automatically sizes it correctly so that it looks fine now go to the next page and we'll see that there's a green line around the outside so we know we're working on the left hand side if we go to the right hand side that green outline goes to the right hand page so we'll just click on layout and then again on layout and then click on photos and we'll just use the two photographs here
and then we'll go to the next double page and we'll just complete the layout and we'll just complete this whole book as you can see we can show the thumb strip on the bottom here as well so you can see what the book looks like as you process it through on this one we're going to change the layout a little so we'll now select the photographs for this page and we'll go for this one here and notice that this page is going to be slightly different now we, all we want to do is just select on the picture use the hand and just move the picture to where we want it to be and again we can just select where we want to be in the photograph If you want to rotate a photograph and you want to use, for example, um, a larger size picture. So as you can see, we've got that one there. And we also want to put this one here. What you can do is you can select the pictures. So we'll go for that one here. And then finally, we'll put this one here. Now it automatically turns the picture. You can just click on rotate right. And then you can see that you see the whole photograph. And all you need to do is click on the green rotate button and you can turn that picture round to the correct orientation. You might just want to check that it is straight and yeah that's straight so we can just take that to there and we'll just make that a little bit bigger as well so there we have all the photographs shown in the system now there is one photograph that isn't in and because it's on the front page, we're just going to finalize that straight under here. And we're just going to select that. I'm just going to make it a lot bigger. You can see if it gets too, too big, you can actually get an image which is not the right size. So for that size photograph, it just wouldn't seem to work. So you can see it's gone to a amber, which is a low quality picture. Um, so it may go out of focus or it might not be good enough. So what we can do is we just delete that and we'll just, for this case, is we'll just add another image in there. And for the purpose of this exercise, we'll just put this one in. And there we have all the different items shown on the page. We can actually make this bigger and we can alternate between the pages so you can see what the book is going to look like you can add text to pages so where we've got blank information you can add text 
just by selecting the add text now if you're adding it to the right hand side make sure it's highlighted in green then click on there if you're adding it to the left make sure you've got your arrow pointing around the picture and then select add text with the plus that's on the left hand side so the tabs on the left are relevant to the picture on the left and the tabs on the right are relevant to the picture or the page on your right you can add pages you can add themes and you can also duplicate pages as well if you want to see the full picture you can just zoom out to where you need it to be and you can just drag back in and you can then see the whole picture you can look at all pages so you can see what it's going to look like as a set you can save the project so it's now currently saving the project and then you just click on order and once you select order it processes and takes you back to your cart number you can see in the cart you've got the relevant order number and you can see that it's a basic photo book and you can rename that project and we can call that test album basic a4 so once you've changed the name of your album you can then either continue editing the project can delete it if you want to change it and then you can click order once you click order it takes you to your order page and then it's then processed as needed hope you've enjoyed this little video um, please let us know if you need any more information or assistance